Hello Gemini, thank you so much for tuning in. Now it's your turn. Welcome to Hero's Journey, your Hero's Journey. We are going to find out where you are at uh, in the Hero's Journey right now. Hero's Journey or Heroine's Journey. Uh, actually, when we say hero, we do not specify a gender there. Uh, is a term and a concept, of course, coined by the famous scholar Joseph Campbell. Uh, so um, he's a he's a um, writer researcher of mythologies, tales, and many stories throughout the uh, human history, uh, and he's looking at the cultures for that. And uh, hero's hero's journey is um, actually our stories, the story of uh, uh, each individual. Uh, it consists of 12 stages and um, now uh, this oracle deck which is designed for this uh, hero's journey um, has these stages and um, so these stages actually uh, first uh, uh, starts from the uh, some kind of a uh, how to say um, trans transitional phases that you're gonna face along your hero's dream journey and it's the call the quest the reward and the return actually basically in four stages but first uh, it starts with the ordinary world and then you are called to adventure and then there is this refusal of the call. And then, oh, excuse me, um, you meet a mentor, mentor. Then you cross some kind of a threshold. You find yourself in the belly of the whale. You go to the road of trials. Then there is the supreme ordeal and the reward the journey back and the resurrection and also you return with the elixir this hero's journey story is actually is a repeating story in all cultures uh, since the beginning of man there is this mono myth mono myth uh, which is always uh, recurring in the uh, history of man uh, it is actually our uh, uh, our journeys and uh, of course in the end we are actually awakened to something bigger in ourselves it is about finding in the end your godly nature and uh, not everyone is able to hear this call, of course, in a lifetime. So actually, uh, this this story is like a mirror also to our lives. Now we are going to see in what stage you are in. So let's find out the stage now. Okay, so we have the return energy here. This is number four. You got one of the big major cards in the stack. And it's about owning your mastery. So, now number four actually does not necessarily uh, indicate a stage. It is a major uh, energy in this uh, deck. It's the major arcana uh, of this. Um, and, <coughs> excuse me, it's an important stage. It's about owning your mastery. Uh, now, we are going to use the artist's take on and of course the artist's uh, vision about the deck they created and then I'm going to unfold the tarot pad for you, which is on my end I will do, but for this technical and both intuitive reading we need to use the artist's take on. That's why we need to hear what the artist is saying about their cards as oracle uh, decks are not tarot decks they are technical now first of all I there is a particular quote from the Terry Pratchett okay Terry Pratchett uh, I don't know if you ever 
uh, read his novels, but I, he's one of my favorite writers. And he says, why do you go away? So that you can come back, so you can see the place you, you came from with new eyes and extra colors. And the people that see you differently too. Coming back to where you started is not the same as never leaving. Uh, Terry Pratchett also uses a lot of hero's journey, of course, uh, seconds in his also novels. Now, let's hear the message uh, for this card. You are in the return phase, Gemini. Now, it, it is saying to you that it's no longer just about you, but about all who will benefit from your story. In your mind's eye, imagine you are delivering a passionate graduation speech to a sea of eager students who are hanging on your every word. You stand at the podium, confidently sharing your story, reflecting upon your hero's journey. You reminisce, you reminisce about lessons and blessings learned and earned along the way. Your words become seeds planted in fertile soil in the minds and hearts of all those who are destined to be changed by your wisdom. At some point, you notice you are no longer telling a story about how you found the elixir, but have embodied it. Between words, when you pause for breath, you continue to radiate a life-affirming message that alchemically alters all who are blessed to be in your sphere of influence. It's time uh, for you to transmit that story, what you have learned. There is some valuable lessons here. And uh, there is also, this is the Dream Oracle also, so it gives us some... Um, symbols, some dream symbols. So uh, if you want to also reflect on that, it's uh, the dream. If you have, for instance, been seeing things like graduation in your dreams, uh, this is actually about earning a degree of mastery. Uh, and it's a high time you own it. The dream is shining a bright light on an important rite of passage you are in the midst of. You are crossing from novice to wise one, and you can't go back. It's time to honor where you have been. Claim your new identity, because you become changed from now on, Gemini. Prepare to make a bold leap into the future you have been dreaming of. And working toward for so long, you are finally ready. It's your time. Wow. It's also like you return to a place, but you are not the same. You have changed. And we have also a mantra also. It says, I have graduated from having a story worth telling to embodying the potency of my story. And it emanates through every cell of my being. Just wow. Now, uh, it shows actually um, things for you have been changed lately. Um, you are like the your own story. You are like the storyteller of your own life. Uh, there is a knowledge here that you can very genuinely transmit others, not just because to just to speak about it or communicating it, but it's about really uh, you become that story. So actually, you are definitely giving a part of yourself to others when you are embodying it. Now, the tarot story here also evolves. Let's see your uh, times here. We have the justice. We have the nine of swords. And we have also the queen of wands. Justice is telling us it's time. Okay, it's time. And this energy is... Uh, putting you into a status in which you are going to uh, begin a new journey that you have been contemplating about. There is a new phase in your life, okay? Uh, I see also some rewards here. 
uh, you are likely to receive. You just maybe do not know how to uh, implement it to your life. It's like sometimes having the best reward or but where to put it like in your own home or like something is you are having time hard time with maybe its orientation. However, uh, there is a happy surprise coming here, a new be uh, beginning. Uh, this is also coming of a baby, by the way, with the bambino. Uh, of course, not everyone will have a baby or will see a new baby around them. But there is a, here a reward for your efforts. The justice says, okay, you had enough now. Okay, it's time for rewards. So, uh, your what you are here expecting also... Uh, can be more than what you actually expect it to be. Uh, we have also the... Oh, okay. Gemini, this is uh, the next phase of your life. If you get out of your, uh, your own mind, uh, you're going to find very um, big solutions for something. No need to overthink about it as well. Though I do feel there is some kind of this lately a thought... Uh, in you like how are you gonna go around something maybe this is like um, it, something here is uh, you know it's like that uh, sometimes there the devil in in the mind like telling you to like go back to an old place like old story but it's like your resistance no I have changed I am getting my rewards and now I have to go back where I have come from, but not in the same state of mind. I have changed, but there is this uh, idea or someone who is like trying to keep you at the same place as well. Your struggle here is... Um, your struggle here is maybe there can be a person who is trying to influence you with your decisions, maybe around family... Um, you are like, uh, here, get out of my mind. I'm going to do this uh, uh, by myself kind of energy I'm feeling. Um, okay, so here we are also seeing you. We are also seeing you in the justice energy. Um, if you are about to have this new beginning with regards to any area of life, what you have to leave behind uh, you think that you have something like you still need to go back and take, but it's like, no, you don't actually need it. You are now with the new view, it says. Um, a part of your life is now trying to balance it out with the other half of your life. Like it is actually bringing different aspects uh, together, past, present, and future, and it tries to balance everything. It is trying to try to uh, give you a ground. Uh, the energy is very much helping you to restructure uh, your life without any major crisis happening. But there is something in in your mind is like stealing from like your reserves. What is that bug? You are say you are like saying get out of my mind. This idea get o get get out of my mind. This idea of having or doing this and that get out of my mind. Um, you should necessarily not be on a continual cleanup and improvements here. Actually, things gonna work out fine. Uh, but I think here the point is to shift your focus. Um, I think you are about to start fresh in something with this new vision and maybe a legal situation involving a status here or uh, your current situation has been solved here. Um, but what is it that still in your is your mind uh, still actually again stealing from those reserves reserves uh, it wants you to concentrate on the issues uh, which are not actively maybe troubling you rather than the past ones the past one is um, past it says I think you can safe, safely afford to bypass 
for the time being in the new situations. Uh, and the Justice series, of course, um, it is already telling you have been to do something. And maybe you were looking at the law of karma, uh, the law of cause and effect. Uh, in accordance with the seeds you have implemented be before, now you're gonna sown some so sown things. Uh, I mean, you you're gonna uh, reap what you sow. Okay, you're gonna reap your harvest here. And what will be uh, relevant uh, will be those things which you have taught, said, or done. Not the ones now you will be doing from now on. Um, or, you know, uh, there is a particular karma actually here is being paid, I do feel. And you are likely to get this good uh, results, new beginnings, fresh beginnings. It's like the universe is like compensate, consumpa, con, uh, con, cons, sorry, I didn't, uh, I couldn't speak, compensating you. Uh... From now on here, you can look at how you are also influencing a current situation. You may be also wanting to get a, a broader maybe responsibility. I do feel a person is like running away, like they are lacking at a place. And it's like from now on, it will be you who will take the responsibility. Uh, you already have the knowledge actually, and this is giving you some kind of a way out from a situation a person's non-existence in your life will help you to actually forge a very good path for yourself you have already uh, the knowledge for that um, and here you will find that you will come to exercise control by taking responsibility uh, for what is actually going around you uh, in the close proxim proximity, um, the way for you up from now on um, will be continuing uh, in this direction. But the way uh, down for you can be just running away from it or retreat from it. Uh, what would be also bringing down to you would be saying look at what was done to me kind of thing so it says don't allow yourself to be a victim uh, here you need to this is uh, this is uh, a situation in which you shouldn't say look what they have done to me or it is uh, for you to take the responsibility of your life okay because you already have the experience and the no knowledge for that you are now returning you have the most amazing stories here, definitely. Um, so here in this particular journey, I think the energy does not want you to minimize your experiences. These experiences uh, shouldn't be minimized. They uh, rather uh, need to be uh, transmitted uh, for the new phase. Now you are entering uh, plus here. Uh, any situation which is like trying to take you back um, like uh, like trying to steal from that experience anyone who is trying to minimize minimal that experience uh, is not actually uh, supposed to be in your life I do feel um, I think you are coming to understand some interrelational dynamics. Um, and I do feel you are actually looking for some kind of a spiritual justice in your situation. Um, you are going to find it, don't worry. Uh, this is going to be very open to you. This energy will be available to you. Uh, Gemini, here actually something really good, uh, well, like really for your own sake and prosperity, trying to make its way to you. The not too good idea here can be, uh, why would you prevent it? Why would you running from it? What you deserve will ultimately come to you. But if you go and uh, look back, 
uh, a previous goal which was actually your ego was in this is gonna be a loss like you got to embrace what is trying to make its way to you okay and being very much open uh, to receive that um, now there is something here worth telling worth telling worth writing um, word transmitting um, I feel some Gemini's do not want to be at a place like they are actually very much called to be there but they do they are not uh, don't want to be at that place actually if you could go there this would be very nice uh, for you this would be very nice for you I want to get one more card. We are finding the lovers here. Just wow. So this is your card ultimately. And uh, there is a, a very big message. Um, you will be drawn where you... Where your highest path is actually you know, waiting for you. The, you. You are likely to make some choices here and these choices will uh, definitely determine your uh, values uh, as a person. Um, I do feel here, um, what's the English word for that? Uh, you, <sighs> You, you actually there is there is something here you want to share but why are you refraining from sharing it there is actually a very relaxed way of sharing between you and the person there I also have that you have this lately development and maybe you are refraining like sharing it with another person but actually you can really share that, uh, because you think maybe if you share this information or development, it is uh, going to be official for you as you didn't like decide yet for it. Uh, you, you don't want it to be official. There is some kind of uh, choices in legal matters. Um, some higher power in the mundane affairs if you got to like uh, if the return for you is to a place where you have like come from or if you got to by the way deliver some papers in a place like you definitely need to do that I think because you got to claim something but you may be also refraining from some official proceedings. But we cannot really step into what we do not acknowledge to ourselves. And we do not really heal from what we do not acknowledge. Justice here is giving you a chance for like acknowledgement of something. Something fresh, something new. Like, it's going to be officially recognized, but it's like you are going around it. Like, not to make it, like, hurt so much. But in the end, like, have to do some paperwork, maybe, and anything in that nature. It says, on your mastery. Do not run from it. This reading wants to... Uh, wants you to own something, claim something, that it is yours, it is part of you, this is your right, okay? This is, I think, how you're going to solve this, I do feel. This is how you're going to solve this, uh, Gemini. So it re requires that acknowledgement. And from that acknowledgement, I think you are likely to find some great power. Uh, some periods in the 
next uh, in this uh, I mean at this time some period may involve you uh, doing some maybe extreme activity you can be f physically very active uh, be careful about not to have any injury of something I also feel Gemini um, I don't know, but here, like in some Gemini's, there can be here some kind of an inheritance situation, some money situation, inheritance, or there is this thing left from a person because the person uh, has maybe completed their life cycle or they are not present anymore. Uh, you will likely to make some decisions uh, with the legal forces here. And maybe uh, you have been through a, a, a lot. It wants you to return to a place. This place can be also maybe an old place, old home, your old neighborhood where you have left once, maybe a country, maybe a city. And like you got to do maybe some bureaucratic work there. This is also another energy. Because you got to claim this thing. It is yours. And it's like, and you have this story, you must know uh, how to take the steps towards it. Uh, some official things are also reaching out to you. Maybe with some lacking elements, you try to set up, you know, how to handle them. And then maybe you got to revisit again an official place. Like... If there is a place that you think like you have left from that place uh, forever, uh, it may be you return to that place and check also. That place will also receive you in a completely new way because you are not the old you after some experience here. And it's like you got to claim what is already yours, which means owning your, uh, owning your own mastery. And this is a self-mastery. You have known the stages of it. Thank you so much. Uh, definitely uh, uh, very valuable uh, information has come for those who may need it. Uh, you definitely own this thing and claim it. It is yours, Gemini. Go for it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Ciao for now.